Hi, Frank Spangler here for Learning Media Skills. As we continue our series on the Canon C200, I thought it might be helpful to share with you some of the things that I wished I would have known on those first few days out in the field with the brand new camera. I only had the camera for about two days before flying off to the country of Sri Lanka on a paid film shoot. And not something I recommend, actually. It's really good to get to know your camera before you go out on a paid contract. But there I was. And uh, my client was from the UK. And so naturally, the first thing I started doing was to look through the menu system to switch the camera to PAL so that it would be more appropriate for their use in the UK. Come to find out, I, there was no PAL NTS options in the menu system anywhere. So I had to do what most of us really dread doing, and that is go to the manual. I come to find out that it is not called NTSC PAL on the Canon C200, like many of the other Canon DSLR cameras. In the Canon C200, it's called System Frequencies. And uh, so in this lesson, I would like to talk all about System Frequencies and also make some interesting observations on the frame rates that are available in the C200. Let's take a look. So digging into the menu, you will find system frequencies on the third main menu item from the left under option number one, the third item down. Scroll down to that and press your joystick in to select that. You will notice that you have three options, 59.94, 50, and 24. 59.94 would be the best option when filming in NTSC countries where the power system is in that frequency. 60 cycles per second, and 50 would be your choice uh, when filming in PAL countries where the power system is set to 50 cycles per second. And uh, the third interesting option we have here is 24. Now, at first glance, film students here might perk up and say, oh great, there's a frequency setting for the film look. But I want to advise you that you need to be careful here. There is a difference between system frequency and frame rates. If you choose a system frequency here of 24, the only frame rate option that the Canon C200 will give you is a precise 24 progressive, which is different than a frame rate of 23.98, the actual frame rate that most cameras use when they talk about using a film rate. After setting the C200 to a system frequency of 24, let's go ahead and do that. Just press in on that, and whenever you do that, the camera actually shuts down and reboots up again in the new frequency. So give it a moment. And then you have to go into the menu settings again. So now here we are in 24 hertz. Now notice, as we go in to set the frame rate, the option is actually grayed out. When you are in a system frequency of 24 hertz, the camera will automatically set itself to a frame rate of 24 progressive. 23.98 is not an option. Think that there's not a big difference between 24p and 23.98? Think again there is a huge, noticeable visual difference. If you are editing a project in a film rate of 23.98 and someone gives you some footage to add to your project that was shot in 24p, you will notice a difference, especially in the shots that have a lot of motion. Clients and producers are not always clear on this. When your client says, oh, I want a more cinematic look uh, for this project, please film everything in 24p. Don't just leave it at that. Clarify. Ask your client, uh, excuse me, did you mean 
uh, a film rate of 23.98 or an actual frame rate of 24p. Make sure that you find that out because if other camera people are working on the same project and they submit everything at 23.98 and your footage is at 24, your footage is going to look different inside the project and you don't want that. Well, what happened to me is that once I got together in the field with my client, we got to talking about it and decided that since his project would probably never be broadcast and that it would only be ever seen on the internet, we might as well go ahead and film in a film rate rather than the PAL frame rate of 25. Thankfully, I did not select the frequency setting of 24 hertz, but here is the confusion that I did run into. I had already set the system frequency to 50 hertz for PAL countries. Now I could not find a way to set the frame rate to 23.98. The only options for frame rates were 50 and 25. I'm not sure the reason for this. Perhaps this is the way it is on all cameras. Perhaps people filming in PAL countries hardly ever want to have the film look. I don't know. But it was only as I went back to the internet and went to a Canon website that I found the information that indeed, if you are at a system frequency of 50 hertz, you only have the options of a frame rate of 50 or 25, no 23.98. The only way to get a frame rate of 23.98 is to be in a system frequency of 60 hertz. Even though I was in a country where the electrical system was at 50 cycles per second, I had to be in a system frequency of 60 in order to get the film look. Thankfully, almost all of my filming was outdoors in the tea fields. So, let's change this back to 59.94. Let's let the camera reset. And now notice that we are finally able to select a true film rate of 23.98. However, there is something important that you need to know if you are filming a project in the film rate on the Canon C200. And uh, you are switching back and forth between filming in RAW and MP4. For some reason, and we don't really know if this is a feature or a bug, since Canon has not addressed it over the last couple of firmware updates, I guess we'll call it a feature. The thing that you need to know is that when you switch from MP4 to RAW, or from RAW to MP4, the Canon C200 is going to automatically switch the frame rate on you back to 59.94. If you don't know about this, and in the frenzy of your shoot, you don't notice this, you are going to have some of your wonderful project filmed at 59.94. Once you catch on to this little feature of the Canon C200, it is a fairly easy one menu option step to set the frame rate back to 23.98. And after doing it four or five times, it just becomes the norm and you hardly ever forget to do it. At least I'm hoping I remembered most of the time. We'll see once I get to the edit. I hope this has been helpful. This is Frank Spangler for Learning Media Skills. Have a wonderful shoot.